The Ortur Laser Master 2 is my favorite desktop laser engraver, and today I'm going to show you why. My name's Jim, and this is the Edge of Tech. So I've been using the Ortur Laser Master 2 since August of 2020 when I got it. And if you've watched any of the videos I've done on lasers, uh, the coasters, the tile, the canvas, the slate, all of them were done using this laser right here. And while I'm talking about this, I'll put the link right here if you want to check out the playlist. Now I have the 20 watt version, which is actually 20 watts in and only about five, right around five laser watts. But after using it for this long with all those projects, I still think this is my favorite desktop laser engraver. I really like it, and today I'm gonna to show you some of the features of the Laser Master 2, and maybe you'll see why I actually recommend this if you're getting into this hobby. Let's do it. This right here is the laser module. It is connected to an adjustable Z-axis uh, upgrade that I did, and the link will be in the description below, but it normally comes stock mounted straight to this plate, and it does not move. Now they do make a new version that's a fixed focus laser, which means you don't adjust the lens underneath. You just adjust it up and down. And that's mostly all the new versions are coming like that. Uh, that is really cool because I actually added this upgrade part because mine didn't do that. All the new ones should. You get this little metal spacer, you put it underneath, and you just adjust this straight down to it, and that's all you have to do to get burning. Uh, again, this is the 20 watt version but you can get it in a 15 and a 7 watt version. Uh, so it depends on what you want to do. I really like the 20 watt and uh, I, I like to stick with that. I've been getting great results. Um, some people like the 7 watt because you can get a much tighter dot, which gives you much clearer pictures in theory. Like I said, the newer versions come with a little bit different module. Actually, it's adjustable up and down right from the factory. Um, that is That's awesome. Also in the description, I will put the default focal lengths in the description below just so you have reference to that. You know, that way you know how far from the bottom of your housing here to your material you need to be. This is a great module so far. I haven't had any issues. Uh, the first one I got was defective, but this one has been just amazing since I got it. In the bottom left of the laser engraver behind this panel is your 32-bit motherboard. You can see a USB input here and your power input right there. So this does need to be connected to your computer to run, but you just connect this via USB and they do give you a cable. Uh, over here you have your power button and your reset button. Uh, if you need to reset this for any reason or you wanna stop it right away, you just hit that button once and everything comes to a halt. Uh, this board here from Ortur actually has several safety features on board, including a, a G sensor. So it detects any unauthorized movement and the laser beam will stop. So if, if your laser were moving and it got stuck on something or something like that, uh, it'll turn off the laser beam. That way it does not cause a fire and keep burning. It detects if the USB cable, if the USB cable gets pulled out on accident, either on this end or the computer end, it will stop the laser as well. That way it just does not keep going or maybe sometimes um, the ones that don't have some of the safety features put in, the laser head will actually stay in one spot and just keep firing that laser right in one spot. And that is a big fire hazard. If you were to turn the laser on and you have it plugged in via USB, you have it plugged in power, you turn the laser on with your software and you don't start movement, after so many seconds, it'll actually turn itself off that way it doesn't overheat or, or start something on fire underneath it as well. So overall, like I said, behind this panel is your 32-bit board and it's not a bad board at all. I, I like the 32-bit version and it's silent too. As you can see here, it's made with aluminum extrusion or aluminum profiles. They are V-slot for the wheels, just like an Ender 3 would be. Uh, it does come with cable management, which is awesome. You get these looms and everything plugs in very nicely to them. They have zip tie points here where you can actually zip tie everything to, which is great. And uh, the cable management from the factory is really good. Now, a lot of people add drag chains to keep this stuff up off your material and stuff like that. I haven't had issues with that, but some people do. Uh, overall, it's built very well. It takes maybe 10 to 15 minutes to put it all together. Um, it uses it uses mechanical end stops, which you can see here. And uh, there's another one here. 
and that stops it going forward here and it also stops it going sideways there so it knows where home is. Uh, overall built very well and uh, it, you know it's very lightweight for how big this machine is. That leads us into the size of the engraving space here. It is a 400 by 430. That is a really nice big engraving space in the center here. Uh, as you can see, I mean, that goes all the way back to there. And that's a very nice, good size engraving space for a desktop laser engraver like this. Something else I want to point out is this bar right here. Now this is a synchronization shaft and it goes all the way across and it links up to the belt on this side and it has a gear here. Now that keeps both of your Y axis in line, especially when you're moving at full speed, you wanna make sure that this is you know, moving at the same on both sides. If you did not have this, this might be able to get off like this when it's moving at full speed. So it's nice that they put this in here. It's a very good thought and uh, it's kept everything primarily straight for me. So I really like that they added this uh, synchronization bar here. This laser runs on Gerbil or GRBL language, and you can use it with a wide variety of different softwares, as long as it controls the Gerbil language. Now you can use it with Laser Gerbil, which is what they say, or Lightburn, which is my choice. I really love Lightburn. It is very, very robust for lasers, and you can check it out for free for 30 days with the link in the description below. It's not an affiliate link or anything like that, and everybody gets a free 30-day trial if they want to. Let's talk a little bit about support. Now, I really like the Ortur support for the Laser Master 2. It's been super responsive to me. I actually had a module burnout. They went through the testing with me and sent me a new one, no questions asked. They didn't even know who I was, so it couldn't have been about YouTube channels or anything like that. I just reached out and said, hey, I got this. It's not burning correctly, and, and they took it from there. Now, I would highly suggest checking out the Ortur Facebook group. It's very helpful. There's a ton of project ideas. You just throw a question out there, and, and many people will answer and help you out. I really like the Ortur Facebook group, and Gil, the support guy from Ortur, or one of them at least, <laughs> is part of that group, and he'll help anybody out. You just have to ask him. So overall, like I said, I really, really like this Ortur Laser Master 2. Uh, I think it's my favorite desktop laser engraver, and I've said that about three or four times now during this video. But if you're looking to get into this hobby, I would highly suggest something like this. It comes with your safety features, your 32-bit board. The new ones have that fixed focus um, laser module, and it makes it very easy to start right away. And the build only takes 15 to 20 minutes to even put this thing together, which is really awesome. Getting this is a little bit of a... A weird thing. So you can go on Amazon, which many people do, and the links are in the description below, but you're going to pay more. Uh, Amazon, you'll get it fast. It's Amazon return policy, all that stuff, which is awesome, but you actually pay a good chunk more for the laser. I'm not sure why they do that, and I wish Ortur would fix that because they could probably get a lot more sales uh, if it wasn't more expensive like that on Amazon. The other links in the description below are from some of the other sites you will get them, but it might take a while. Uh, mine took like six weeks to get here when I ordered it. So, I mean, there's a trade-off. Yeah, it was cheaper, but you know, I may not have the best support from the company I bought it from as far as the actual purchasing company goes, but uh, you know, it's cheaper and I can get into the hobby a little bit cheaper that way. So it really depends if you're willing to wait and save some money, do that. If you want it now and you're willing to spend a little money, I would just grab it right off of uh, Amazon. Something else to point out, this particular one does have some uh, upgrades on it and I'll put that link right here. There was a last video I did on this. It does have the belt tensioners and the Z-axis adjust uh, as you see it here. And uh, that does not come with it factory, but you can get these in an awesome package. It's, it's a cheap package and they're super easy to put on uh, like you saw in that video. And I'll put that link in the description below. Uh, these parts have been awesome for what I've been doing. Well, I hope you guys learned something a little bit about the Ortur Laser Master 2 desktop laser engraver today. Uh, you know what? If you got value out of the video, let me know in the comments below. Maybe hit that thumbs up. I hope that if you're going to get into the laser engraving world, you check out this model. I do have some new ones coming, so stay tuned because you never know if those are going to be better or not. You'll see them on the channel soon. But uh, you guys rock, and as always, keep burning.
Hey everybody, I hope you liked the video today. Give me that thumbs up if you did. Hit that subscribe button right here if you haven't already and click that bell for a notification. Next time we put out a great video like this or when we go live on Hot Makes, you guys rock. Keep burning.